Welcome back to Transport Theory. In today's video, we're diving deep into one of Melbourne's most exciting infrastructure projects, the Melbourne Metro Tunnel. This game-changing development is set to redefine Melbourne's public transport landscape when it opens in 2025. As we explore the ins and outs of this transformative project, we'll uncover its history, current status, and future impact on the city's rail network. So sit back and join us on this journey through Melbourne's upcoming transport revolution. The Melbourne Metro Tunnel isn't just a new rail project, it's the result of decades of planning and vision. The idea of a major rail turning through Melbourne's Central Business District, or CBD, has been discussed for nearly a century. However, it wasn't until the early 2000s that serious planning took shape. The need for an underground rail link became increasingly apparent as Melbourne's population grew and its public transport network struggled with congestion. By 2013, the Victorian government officially committed to the Melbourne Metro Tunnel project, setting the stage for a major overhaul of the city's rail system. The project was designed to address the capacity constraints of the existing network and to provide a modern, efficient transport solution for Melbourne's expanding urban population. The Melbourne Metro Tunnel is a significant undertaking in urban infrastructure. Stretching 9 kilometres, this tunnel will create a new, dedicated route through Melbourne's central areas. It will branch off from the Sunbury Line at South Kensington and include five new stations, Arden, Parkville, State Library, Town Hall and Anzac. Arden Station will be a centrepiece of Melbourne's urban renewal project. Located in a rapidly developing area, this station is set to be the hub of a major redevelopment project. The surrounding area will be transformed into a vibrant new precinct with a mix of residential, commercial and public spaces. This development aims to enhance the local community and provide a modern, accessible transport link for residents and businesses alike. Parkville Station will significantly improve access to Melbourne University and several large hospitals. Currently, these important institutions are served primarily by trams. But the new station will provide a direct rail link, making it easier for students, staff and visitors to travel to these locations. Positioned near major medical and educational facilities, Parkville Station will be a crucial point in Melbourne's public transport network. State Library Station will extend the reach of Melbourne Central Station, placing it at the heart of Melbourne's bustling shopping and entertainment district. This station will offer improved connectivity to one of the city's most vibrant areas facilitating better access for commuters and enhancing the overall flow of people through the central business district. Town Hall Station will effectively serve as an extension of Flinders Street Station, one of Melbourne's most iconic transport hubs. This strategic location will place passengers right in the centre of the city's business and cultural activities. This station's central position will be a key asset for both daily commuters and visitors to the city. Anzac Station, located near the Shrine of Remembrance, will provide a critical interchange with the St Kilda Road trams. This station will enhance connectivity to one of Melbourne's significant landmarks and offer convenient access to various tram routes. Its location will also support the local tourism and cultural landscape by making key sites more accessible. The Melbourne Metro Tunnel boasts several advanced features that will enhance the efficiency and capacity of Melbourne's rail network. The tunnel will provide a dedicated route from Kensington to South Yarra, eliminating the need for trams to navigate through the congested city areas. This direct path will reduce time and improve overall efficiency of the network. Communication-based train control, or CBTC for short, the Metro Tunnel will utilise CBTCs as a state-of-the-art signalling system that allows trains to operate closer together. This technology will increase the capacity of the tunnel to ensure more reliable services. High-capacity Metro Trains, or HCMTs, will be running through the Metro Tunnel these HCMTs were designed significantly for the metro tunnel and will give higher capacity for these trains. These trains are already in service on the Pakenham and Cranbourne lines and it will be a significant upgrade for the network. Melbourne Metro Tunnel will have a profound impact on Melbourne's rail network, bringing about major changes and improvements. The Dandenong lines, also known as the Cranbourne and Pakenham lines, are currently run through South Yarra and Richmond stations. This will be redirected through the new tunnel this change will alleviate congestion on the city loop and allow for more efficient train operations. The removal of these lines from the loop will free up capacity for other services, enhancing the overall efficiency of the network. The Frankston line, which was previously removed from the city loop, will return to use with the newly available space in the Caulfield Tunnel. This change is expected to result in a 15% increase in peak capacity for the Frankston line. 
This improvement will benefit many commuters and streamline the flow of passengers throughout the network. The Sandringham line will join the Werribee and Williamstown's lines in the Cross City Group, leading to enhanced connectivity and capacity. Although there are claims of a 48% increase in peak, this figure may be optimistic given that the current infrastructure constraints. Nonetheless, this change will improve the efficiency of the Sandringham lines and benefit passengers. Construction of the Melbourne Metro Tunnel is progressing rapidly. As of August 2024, the project is on track for an early opening in 2025. Test range have already begun running through the tunnel, and on station is nearly completed. The extensive testing phase includes running trains an additional 150,000 kilometers to ensure those systems are fully operational and ready for passenger service. The completion of the Melbourne Metro Tunnel will mark a transformative moment for Melbourne's public transport system. The new tunnel will not only enhance travel times and network efficiency, but will also support Melbourne's growth, which is projected to reach 9 million people by the 2050s. By improving connectivity and reducing congestion, the Metro Tunnel will play a crucial role in the city's future development. The Melbourne Metro Tunnel represents a monumental leap forward for Melbourne's public transport infrastructure. Its advanced technology, strategic design and significant network improvements will offer substantial benefits to commuters and support the city's ongoing growth. As we look forward to the opening in 2025, the Metro Tunnel promises to enhance Melbourne's transport landscape and provide a modern, efficient solution for the city's expanding needs. Thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe to our channel to help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers. If you find this content interesting, make sure to turn on the notification bell to know when we upload next. Thank you for watching this video.